more than 70% of the world's tiger is present in India. As of now, India possesses more than 3,600 plus number of tigers. And in terms of states, the highest number of tigers are present in the state of Madhya Pradesh followed by Karnataka and Uttarakhand. So, during the time India got its independence during and during the time of 1950s, the number of tigers and the tiger population in India was declining. But in the year 2025 as we stand, we have or India has more than 70% of the world's tiger. So, what went so right that the number of tigers in India saw a rapid increase? Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's video, we will be discussing about the topic of Tiger population in India has been increased by 30% in the last two decades and this is NCBS study. When we say two decades, one decade means 10 years. So, in the last 20 years, India has seen around 30% rise in the number of tiger population. So, first of all about the points of discussion, first we will be looking at the news, then what are the findings, NTCA that is the National Tiger Conservation Authority, Tiger Reserves, Tiger conservation initiative that has been taken by the government in India and in the end a prelims MCQ. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is environment and ecology. So, the news is tiger population in India increased by 30 percent over past two decades NCBS study. As we move forward, Drishti IAS Mukherjee Nagar classes has now been shifted to NOIDA and the IAS GS foundation course covering both prelims and mains. Offline batches admissions are open in both English medium and Hindi medium. The English medium batch is starting from the 17th of February while the Hindi medium batch is starting from the 21st of February. If you have any query, give us a call at 87501-87501. You can also download the Drishti Learning app. So, let us look at the news. So, a new study that has been published in the journal Science by the NCBS. It talks about that the tiger population in India has increased by more than 30% over the past two decades. It means over the past 20 years. And this has been published in Science and it also talked about or it also explored the area of socio-ecological factors that have enabled tiger recovery and persistence despite high human densities and economic challenges. So, this, these are the reasons that the journal Science has talked about that why the population of tiger has increased. That is the tiger recovery programs persistence despite high human density. So, even though the human density or the population of human are increasing, but still the project tiger or the tiger initiatives or the, or the population of tiger also saw a increase and economic challenges amid rapid urbanization. So, now let us look at the population of tiger. So, if we talk about the tiger population in India, during the time of 2006, the tiger population was around 1411, 2010 it was around 1706, 2014 is reached to 2200, 2018 it came around 2900 and during the time of 2023, the tiger population has reached more than 3600. So, this, this 3600 is more than 70 percent of the world's tiger population and in terms of states the highest number of tigers is present in Madhya Pradesh that is more than 750 tigers followed by Karnataka and then Uttarakhand. So, if we will look at the rise, so from the time of 2006 to the time of 2023 from 1400 the number has now reached to 3600. Now, the study also talks about, there are few of the findings that the study talks about. First of all, effective conservation studies. So, this is with regard to the NCBS study that India has implemented a balanced approach. Now, what is this balanced approach? It talks about land sharing. It means that where tigers coexist with humans. So, tigers and humans are coexisting with each other and this concept has been called that is land sharing. And the other is the land sparing. Land sparing means the protected areas without human interference like for example, the core zone in a, in a national park or a wildlife sanctuary where the human intervention is not there. So, balanced approach is land sharing means coexistence, land sparing means the protected areas where human interference is not there. Now, 85% of breeding tigers are found in these protected areas 
which serves as a safe zone for tiger population and also tiger reproduction so these breeding tigers in the land sparing zones of protected areas their populations have increased then about few of the legislative protections that has been provided to tigers so that is strong laws have played a key role like for example the wildlife protection act it ensures legal protection for tigers then comes the forest conservation act it talks about or it prevents destruction of tiger habitats because these things are punishable in nature then a uh, national tiger conservation authority which has been created by the after 2006 amendment to the protection act it oversees conservation efforts so strong laws legal protection prevention of destruction and conservation efforts all these things have together played and have resulted in the increase in the number of tigers in india now then comes the socio economic and cultural factors it talks about regions with better economic conditions and lower dependence on forest have seen higher tiger relocation because if the forest in a region will not be present or the enough area for the tiger will not be present then tigers will re relocate from one one place to another place where they are able to find a proper habitat for themselves and proper area where they can actually roam around find their prey can reproduce and minimal human interference can be observed then poverty armed conflict and habitat destruction have caused a decline in tiger population in certain areas like for example jharkhand or chatisgarh because tiger likes to live in a region where outside interference is very low now about the ntca that is the national tiger conservation authority which has played a major role with regard to the conservation and the preservation of tigers so ntca is a statutory body it is a statutory body under the and it works under the ministry of environment forest and climate change and was constituted under the wildlife protection act of 1972 so, so statutory body works under ministry of environment and forest and has been constituted under the wildlife protection act 1972 so what are the objectives of the ntca that is provide statutory authority to the project tiger so that compliance of its directives becomes legal they have a legal backing then fostering accountability of center state in the management of tiger reserves so that that center whatever direction the center gives the state must follow it and the center and the state must work together so that the conservation efforts are in line with each other then providing for an oversight by the parliament and addressing livelihood interest of local people now local people becomes important because the local communities have a better knowledge with regard to the forest and the area that is surrounding it now about tiger so the national animal of india is the royal bengal tiger and if we talk about the habitat of tiger so that is tropical rain forest evergreen forest temperate forest mangrove grasslands and savannas so these are the different habitats in which the tiger lives now protection status with regard to it so the iucn status is endangered and the sites status it comes under appendix 1 now threats can be habitat loss poaching and illegal trade and the human wildlife conflict so in between the human wildlife conflict was at a rise it is actually as of now also happening but the number in between which was going very up is now fine it is now in check then if we talk about the tiger reserves so as of now the number of tiger reserves are 57 then the maximum tiger reserve the state which has is madhya pradesh with eight first tiger reserve was jim corbett national park the largest tiger reserve is the nagarjuna sagar sri sailam tiger reserve smallest tiger reserve is the bor tiger reserve and if we talk about the latest tiger reserve which has been added or the 57th tiger reserve so that is the ratapani tiger reserve in madhya pradesh then comes the tiger conservation initiative so few of the initiatives which has been taken by the government of india for the protection and the preservation of the tiger is 
प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर तो प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर वॉज लॉन्च इन द इयर 1973 एंड वॉज अ वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन इनिशिएटिव तो वॉट हैपन्ड वॉज आफ्टर द 1947 फोर्टी सेवन एंड ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज द टाइगर पॉपुलेशन वॉज डिक्लाइनिंग एज पोचिंग एज पोचिंग ऑफ टाइगर वॉज डन एट अ वेरी हाई रेट एंड ऑल्सो द इलीगल ट्रेड वॉज बींग डन then a effort was needed to be taken for the protection and conservation of tigers so in the year 1973 project tiger and project tiger was a landmark step because after the project tiger the population the population of tigers started to rise and on the basis of the project tiger other projects were also launched and they also became a success so project tiger is a huge case study so the project tiger launched in the year 1973 was a wildlife conservation initiative by the government and this was to ensure the survival and maintenance of the tiger population in their natural habitat by creating a dedicated tiger reserves now tiger reserves were was a place where the natural habitat for the tigers were created human interference was very low prey availability was high and the reproduction the reproduction can be done by the tigers at at a smooth rate and uh, without any interference so that the pro, so that the population of the tiger can increase then comes the wildlife protection act 1972 which laid the groundwork for the tiger conservation and it established national parks and wildlife centuries and also the concept of critical tiger habitats then came the global tiger day in the year 2010 this was about increasing the awareness for the pro protection and the conservation of tigers and the international tiger summit in st petersburg that is 13 tiger range countries they all came together to endorse the t into 2 initiative which talked about doubling the population of tiger by the year 2022 and this was also a success then came the international big cat alliance and this has been done recently and this is a multi country multi agency coalition of 96 big cat range countries and non range countries so range countries and non range countries both are part of it and its aim is to conserve seven big cats so who are these seven big cats that is tiger lion leopard snow leopard cheetah jaguar and puma and out of these seven big cat big cats jaguar and puma is not found in india it is basically found in africa then it consists of four countries that is india nicaragua istwani and somalia they are also the members of it so these are few of the initiatives of the tiger conservation initiative there are other initiatives also i have talked about few so you can say in brief you have gotten an idea that how actually things talked things took a shape but basically what you need to remember the landmark and the starting point was the project tiger and now in the end a prelims mcq and like always you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and it is a pyq of the year 2021 so i expect you to give me the right answer so the question is at the national level which ministry is the nodal agency to ensure effective implementation of the scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers recognition of forest right act 2006 and this is of the year 2021 so you can say a recent one options are ministry of environment forest and climate change ministry of panchayati raj ministry of rural development or ministry of tribal affairs so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications